Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Mass from the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you and your loved ones are in good health. Please check our parish website for updates and for links to devotions and other information, as well as how to continue to financially support the parish as we journey through this virus pandemic. Thank you for your continued support. Our presider this morning is Father Cecil Critch, and our entrance chant is, Lord Jesus, we must know you, number 517 in the Catholic Book of Worship.
God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr, St. Boniface, be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood, and confidently profess it by our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. You have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions, and suffering the things that happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured! Yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and impostors will go from bad to worse, deceiving others and being deceived. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have known the sacred writings that are able to instruct you for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that everyone who belongs to God may be proficient, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, How can the scribes say that the Christ is the Son of God, the Son of David? David himself, by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put my enemies, your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how can he be his son? And the large crowd was listening to him with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's first reading, St. Paul says that all scripture is inspired by God and useful for teaching, for refuting error, for guiding people's lives and teaching them to be holy. For Paul, of course, who was a Pharisee and Jewish, all scripture was what we call the Old Testament, the Jewish scriptures. In Paul's time, there was no such thing yet as a New Testament, not written yet, of course. If what Paul says of the Jewish scriptures is true, we as Christians acknowledge that it is even more true of the Christian scriptures, the four gospels, the acts of the apostles, the letters of Paul and of other writers in the book of Revelation. All of it can be used for teaching, for guiding our lives and teaching us to be holy. But we have to read it, we have to reflect on it, we have to study it and pray over it. We have a wonderful resource in all these scriptures, and it is Jesus who shows us how to interpret the Jewish scriptures. As I said, we read the Jewish scriptures in the light of the Christian scriptures. In the Gospel reading today, we find Jesus interpreting one segment of the Jewish scriptures, one of the Psalms. He shows that understood properly, that particular psalm shows that Jesus is more than just the son of David. He is Lord and Savior and Messiah. Jesus as the Messiah was more than just what, more than what the people, the Jewish people expected. He was not to be an earthly king like David, a king who would free Israel from Roman oppression. He came to free all people from oppression and slavery to sin. He would be the fulfillment of the scriptures. The Gospels tell us that when the risen Lord appeared to his disciples, he opened their minds to truly understand the scriptures. The Lord is the light in which we read all the scriptures. The more we come to know the Lord, the more we will understand God's word to us. Paul, in today's first reading, called all scripture. That is why when we sit down to read and pray the scripture, it is good to firstly invite the Holy Spirit to enlighten the eyes of our minds and hearts. Our prayers of intercession today, we pray for Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Peter, and for all the church community, that they all may be empowered by the Holy Spirit to witness the love of Christ for all through our mercy and compassion for one another. We pray to the Lord. We pray for a spirit of unity in our world community today, for that the Spirit of God may help us to overcome all racism, intolerance, and divisions. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all people of goodwill and especially we pray for those to help all those people who are impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick, for the healing power of the Holy Spirit upon them. We pray to the Lord. And for all recently deceased, we pray today for Brother Dave Murphy, Brother Joe Frischette, and for Joseph Brown. We pray to the Lord. For your own intentions today, we pray now in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the graces and blessings you give us every day. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
are you, Lord God, of all creation, for goodness of this year's bread and all good of the earth, Lord, to be alive. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set fire with the flame of your love through which St. Boniface overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Boniface, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect our, your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. 
Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Boniface, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may glorify and praise you forever through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other now the peace of Christ. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not am worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 6.4 in the Celebrate and Song book, Let Us Be Bread. Let us be bread.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Boniface faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Pope Francis to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic. We pray, O Mary, o Mary you always, always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, sick who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation, salvation of your people, know what we need, and, and we are sure you will provide so that, as in Cana of Galilee, Galilee we may we return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us to the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Our missioning hymn is Sing a New Song. It's number 563 in the Catholic Book of Worship. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Rise, O children, from your sleep, your Savior now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul. Let your song be sung from love.
that people 